Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If you do like haul videos, I do post these whenever I buy makeup. Um, so yeah, and I do a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Like project pans and just random videos, whatever I feel like making really. Um, I don't really have a preference. So today's video will be a little haul on my Sephora VIB sale. So these are the things that I picked up and um, if you want to see everything that I got then just continue watching. I am so sorry if you can hear crickets and other noises, nature. I can hear it coming from my bathroom. <laughs> like That's crazy. Um, and sorry about my appearance. Um, all my makeup has faded at this point. I have makeup maybe around 2 p.m. It's like midnight right now, so 10 hours later, everything's basically there. I think I have brows on, and I just popped on a little lip gloss, but I'm looking rough. So, one of the things that I picked up was the Marc Jacobs um, 2 Enamored With You Travel Size Lip Gloss Set. So, this is what the box looks like. And it comes with Sugar Sugar, and then the other shade is called Pink Parade. So these are the shades that you get. It did come wrapped in this paper. And these are the two shades that you get. I'll swatch them for you. So this one is the infamous um, Sugar Sugar. It's this light, 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 light pink. Very super pretty. Then we have Pink Parade, which I don't know if you can tell in the bottle. There's like glitter in it. And it's this shade right here. There's like blue and purple glitters. It's super beautiful. So these are the two glosses that came in that set. And this was $20. And at the time of me filming this, this is still available. So if you want to check that out, um, I think it's a good deal. Oh. The next thing that I picked up is the Fenty... Um, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder, and then I got mine in the shade Butter. This is what the packaging looks like. Hi, you can see me. It came with this sifter. So yeah, I'm curious if this doesn't have a sifter in it or... That's funny, there's a sifter in there. I'm not sure why this came with an extra filter. You guys let me know if you know. Is it like a top? I'm not sure why I came with an extra sifter top thing. Then I did pick up the Milk Makeup um, Matte Bronzer Stick in the color Baked. So it comes in this packaging like this. So this is what the bronzer looks like. And then it comes with this plastic thing on it. So that's what the shade looks like. I'll give you a swatch. And that's the shade there. I'm curious to see what this looks like on the face. So I really want to try this out. But I did pick up a few things from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Which is like a found, not quite a foundation, not quite a primer, not quite a highlighter. It's kind of like all of those things. Um, and I did pick mine up in the shade, I believe it's 4. This is what the bottle looks like. Super luxurious and beautiful, I love it. Um, like I said, shade 4, medium. I was kind of unsure, hopefully this is not too dark. Uh, if not, you know, summer's approaching, hopefully I get a tan. And, um, maybe I'll pick up a lighter shade if I do enjoy this. Let's swatch it. So that's the shape there. 
I hope that's not too dark to highlight with. I might go with shade 2 next time. Shade 3 was too peachy, shade 1 was like way too fair. So, yeah. Hopefully this is not too dark for my face. I also picked up her contour wand and I picked that up in the shade Fair to Light I believe, the first shade. This is what the packaging looks like and it is in the shade Fair to Medium. I don't think you can see that. So it comes with like this round cotton type applicator. I believe I turned mine on. Let me still be off. And it feels half empty. And the product came out. I'm going to swatch it right here, and that's what the contour shade looks like. It feels like this is all air, like you probably only get about this much product. So I can see myself running through this and it's quite pricey. Um, all these products smell good, the lip gloss is all minty, this smells it's very clean. I feel like the bronzer doesn't smell so well. I feel like even the Hollywood Floss filter smells like very fresh. But that's the shade more blended out, so it does blend out pretty nicely. Let's try to blend out this bronzer. So all these things look very nice. I'm like very intrigued and excited to try out all these things. I'm also excited to try out the airbrush, the airbrush flawless finish um, powder. I did actually have a small sample of this from Sephora. It was maybe this wee big, but it was nice. Um, so yeah, I did pick up the shade number two. This is what the compact looks like. It does come with a mirror, and this is what shade 2 looks like. I think this will be good for setting my face. I don't know if it's light enough to set under my eyes. Um, maybe I'll pick up shade 1 if I really do enjoy this. I also oh, I forgot to name the prices on the things. I believe Milk Bronzer is $28. The Fenty was $32 or $34. I believe the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder was. 32 the flawless, the flawless filter which is this one I believe this one was $44 and I believe this one was $38 for the Hollywood Contour one prices are on Sephora but just so you get a rough, a rough estimate so I did pick up the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Duo Double Take I did pick up the Fenty Beauty Double Take Gloss Balm Lip Duo and this comes in the shade Fenty Glow and Sweet Mouth. It goes up here. So this is what the two glosses look like. Fenty Glow is my all time favorite. I've been through one tube of the big one and I think two tubes of the minis. And then I've never tried Sweet Mouth, so I'm curious to try these out. Let me swatch them on the back of my hand for you. Oh, they smell like Skittles. So this darker one is Fenty Glow. It's just a beautiful, like, rosy, almost browny nude. I think it suits a lot of skin tones. It's very gorgeous. 
And then this lighter one. This lighter one is called Sweet Mouth. And it's like this very milky baby pink color with a lot of reflect. I'm happy to have some of them tea glosses in my life. I love, love, love this formula. And then the last thing that I purchased was not makeup. It's actually this, and it's super heavy. It's an acrylic organizer. I believe the Fenty was 20 or $22 for the two glosses, and then the Fenty glosses are usually $18, so that's a really, really good deal. So, so here's like the half part of the organizer. I didn't know that it was two-piece. Uh, Emily Noel did a video about this, so I'll link it down below if you want to see um, her little more in-depth review of it. I'm actually going to rearrange my makeup that's on the very tippy top, and if anything on the second shelf that's in here, I will. So it's like a Kleenex box. Um, this is removable, but she said that the Kleenex box is actually too small. Um, both the cube and the standard rectangular ones. But you are able to remove this, so that's what I'm going to do. So this is removable, and I'm going to remove this and put like foundations or something. And I plan on maybe putting um, primers back here, some powders in here, and these drawers for maybe like eye products. And this second half um, is just like a long, long drawer. So there's two drawers in there, and um, I might put lip products in here or maybe eyeshadow like a few eyeshadow palettes i'm not really sure maybe i'll do blush and bronzer or highlight and something i don't know we'll figure it out when i clean so that'll be me organizing here pretty soon um so this was 40 dollars for both of it it came together um it came well packaged it was like a huge big box. It'll probably be my thumbnail picture. Um, so yeah, it was like in a box within a box. And this was like packaged with like styrofoam. So really secure and I think that chipped. It's pretty heavy. Even just like one piece alone feels heavy. But the two combined, <laughs> it's really heavy. And um, yeah, I seen her review and I thought it was nice. I totally forgot that it was like a two piece. Um, that it came removable, but yeah, I needed something to still removable because these plastic ones aren't very appealing. I think I might buy some more from the Sephora collection and organize some of this better to make my collection just look nicer and more well organized. So, um, yeah, that was everything for this Sephora VIB So Let me know what you got. Um, let me know if you had 10, 15, or 20 percent off. And if you really saved money or if you didn't want to pick anything up, just let me know down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.